that was a recap of today. I just wanted to revisit this whole idea of the risk trade because I think well, it's back on, believe it or not. Obviously, so we've got equities. Let me just look at a, a long-term chart here. You know, we've got equities kind of burst through this 1210 level. This is the 40,500 tip bar chart. We've come into resistance here. We have less buying pressure at this point. I think we're, you know we're probably going to have a little bit of a pullback on Monday. Uh, I'll be looking at this cyclical turning point on the 40,500 tip bar chart uh, for some kind of uh, support. Then if I drop down to the 13,500 tip bar chart, you know, we're going to form an end of trend warning signal here at these kind of highs, most likely on Monday. And so, you know, any pullback and cyclical turning point that I see on, on that uh, chart uh, will signal for me. I'm going to be interested to see if that's another opportunity to kind of uh, get long and uh, for, for a move above 1214. Um, the reason why I'm starting to 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 suggest this is some of the other charts are kind of the risk trade is back on. So this is looking at crude daily chart, just looking at a 1440 minute chart here. The last move back into crude was driven by the amateurs. You can see the amateur bars kind of here, and then the professionals with this blue bar stepped in uh, with bearish uh, bullish divergence happening on better momentum. We rallied on Friday, so you know we've got a cyclical turning point here, and it looks like there's some strength in crude. So crude might go for another little bit of a run. Uh, to the upside. Uh, on the reverse, we've got, um, let's look at the 10-year bond rate, uh, where we had some weakness on Friday. So coming into Friday, uh, we've had bearish divergence kind of setting up here. We had a professional blue bar at the uh, top there, and the market kind of sold off a little bit, and we're kind of in a downswing. So potentially, you know, we could have uh, bonds moving down. And if you look at the interest rates, we're still at this kind of critical support uh, resistance level here on rates. Yeah, and we're not um, we're not declining at this point. The rates aren't kind of going down, so potentially, you know, the rates could start to to go up. I mean, I find it extraordinary in a, in a what I would have thought is a deflationary environment that we've actually got some kind of uh, move up in rates. But you know, this is all I can do is just show you what the charts are showing me. And then, um, you know, let's just look at the uh, dollar. Index. We're coming up to a cyclical turning point here on on the dollar index. This is we formed an end of trend warning signal up here at 82, and this is the second cyclical turn after an end of trend warning signal, which is typically you know trend trend change point. Or certainly, it's a point that I look at from a trend trend change perspective. Um, so that's kind of coming up. And then if we look at the euro, which I was talking about on uh, Thursday's video, and here we had the professionals step in on Friday. You know, I, I said I thought the uh, the break below this uh, one uh, thirty three fifty level uh, during the uh, Asian session I thought was suspect. Uh, you know, because the during the uh, European session and the U.S. session they'd not been able to take down that low, but then they used you know the professionals used the Asian uh, act activity, which is kind of thinly traded for the euro, to break into those uh, lows. So they broke it short down almost to one thirty two, and then the market rallied ever since. And those kind of professionals stepping back in, we've got a cyclical turn here. This chart is the inverse, if you like, of the dollar chart. So we've got, you know, a second cyclical turn after an end of trend warning signal on the downside. So I mean, this would suggest that there's strength in crude, there's strength in equities, there's strength in euro, uh, and weakness in bonds and the U.S. dollar. So you know, we could be starting to see the equity market kind of uh, go even higher. So there we go. Uh, just some thoughts for the weekend. Hope you had a good uh, week trading and uh, enjoy your weekend.